Hello there and thanks for joining me once again. In this tutorial I'm going to tie you up a dry fly. It's a trude style dry fly. It's simply called the uh, Coachman Trude. It's just a little simpler version than the uh, Royal Coachman Trude. You just omit the, uh, the red in the center here, the floss or thread. It's just a plain Coachman Trude and a well, I like to let a, add a little flash when I tie these, so I just put a couple strands of crystal flash under the wing there, just to add a little flash. And it's a really good attractor pattern. It can be tied in a variety of colors and sizes. So I thought you might like to see this guy this time around, so I'll get him a device. A fresh hook in and get going here. Now the hook I'm using is a Mustad 9671 in a size 12. So I'll get that locked down on the vise here. Okay, just like so. And thread is Stanville 6 aught Flymaster in black this time around. Now, I want to start my thread about three eye lengths behind the eye here this time. And then we're going to wrap back to a thread base back to the bend. Just like so here. And we'll come up to almost to the barb and I'll snip that tag into there. A couple more wraps back. Alrighty now, our tail is the ever popular golden pheasant tippet. And I'm just going to take my scissors here and poke in that feather and get a bunch there, about 10 to 12 fibers. Separate that. And what I do is just hold on to that. Bring your scissors in and snip that out. That'll keep the tips straight there for you. And I want that tail to be about hook shank length per near, so I'll come back. And we'll tie this guy in. Get a pinch wrap on him here. I don't use too many fibers, like I say, 10 or 12. And I'm just going to make a couple wraps back on him and then forward. Okay, and I'll snip that off to where it ended my started my thread there on the front. And we'll wrap all that down nice and tight here. Okay, then we'll wrap back to about halfway onto that. Stop the thread there now. The body is peacock curl and I have four strands ready here. Just get those tips evened up here and then I'm gonna like always, snip off the brittle tips. Okay, now I'm going to tie them in here, right on top. Just come around, catch those in. Wrap back with a few wraps and stop there. And I'm going to make a dubbing loop. My finger, just come up around. And we'll wrap that in. A couple wraps around the base of that, just to lock it in there. Oops. Then I'll grab the thread and the hurl, and I'm going to wrap all the way back to just in front of the tail, just like so. Then we'll wrap forward to where we want to tie this off. Stop our thread there, okay. Now I'm going to grab my hackle pliers here and grab that thread and hurl at the bottom. We're going to begin to twist that up a little, but before I wrap that, for added durability, I'm going to take a bead of head cement right along the top of the thread wraps there. Get a little bead started. There we go. And I figure if you're going to tie flies, I, what I try to do is make my flies as durable as possible. When I'm tying them, it makes sense to me anyhow. So Now we'll begin to wrap our body. First wrap right in front of the tail. Then we'll proceed forward here. And if you notice the loop loosening up, just give it a few more wraps. You may have to do that a couple times before you finish the body. Okay, and we'll just wrap forward here. Just like so. A couple more, one more spin on this guy should do it. Okay. And one more wrap. There we go. Now I'm going to tie this guy off here, a couple wraps behind, and in front, then I'm going to wrap back onto it. That usually locks it in there real good. 
and I'm going to snip that off nice and close and see once that glue dries that'll bond that peacock curl really good to the shank so the fly will last a lot longer okay I'm just going to throw in a quick half hitch here here we go now I'm going to wrap back a couple more wraps and forward okay now on mine I like to add a little flash so what I do is I take I usually use silver or pearl crystal flash and I just take a piece here and just fold it like so and tie it on top let's just put this underneath the wing and yeah, don't worry if it's a little long at first because I'm gonna gonna cut that the length once I tie the wing in so just tie it, secure that in with some nice snug wraps snip off the excess a few more wraps okay now yeah, we're ready for our wing and the wing is calf body here just have a small patch here and I already cut some off and got into my stacker I'll even that up and I'll pull that out here okay now just get any short hairs that you don't want and I don't want the wing too overly thick either so and I'm gonna pull out a few more here okay now you want the wing to come back about I usually like my wing about almost to the end of the tail but not quite so I measure that up hold it there and then I'm gonna trim to where I want to tie that in at so I trim that now another little trick I do for added durability for is tying the wing in is before I tie that in on the butt ends take a little bit of your head cement and and put a little drop there along the end of those wing butts and then I'll tie that on top come around pinch that on top nice and tight there and just hold up on that wing as you wrap back and that'll keep that right on top for you just like so and I'm going to wrap that down forward just like so there we go okay now I'll come in with that crystal flash and trim that to the length of the wing even a little shorter doesn't hurt there we go now our last step is the hackle and I have a brown saddle, reddish brown saddle hackle <coughs> excuse me, saddle hackle ready and I'm going to tie that in with the concave side facing rearward, the doll side so we're going to tie this guy in here just like so and we'll wrap that stem all the way to the eye and I'll lift up on it a couple wraps in front of that and I'm going to snip him out of there just like so alrighty so now we're ready for wrap our hackle and finish this guy up so we'll just grab our hackle here and come down around I want that first wrap right in front of the wing then we'll proceed to wrap forward nice close touching wraps one thing about a nice long saddle hackle you don't necessarily have to use your hackle pliers but you can if you wish I just find it easier with my fingers if the hackles long enough and we'll just keep wrapping that forward here it looks like I'm going to get about one more wrap around on this guy and that'll finish him up give a nice full hackle and I'll tie him off a couple wraps behind that tip and then I'll come in front two or three wraps in the front there as well to lock it in place like so okay then I'll come in nice and easy like and then snip that tip out of there there we go alrighty and there's our completed fly just a couple more steps here make a couple more wraps now what I like to do is make a half hitch first and then my whip finish so I'll 
bring in a half hitch tool here and throw in a half hitch right there snug that down then I'll come in with the whip finisher and we'll get four or five turns on this guy here just hold them hackles back if you have to okay I'll go one more wrap we'll come down snug that up nice and tight I'll come in and snip off the excess and there we have it another size 12 coachman trude and that little crystal flash there I don't know if it really makes a difference but it never hurts to put a little flash in it especially where it's an attractor fly so that's the finished deal what I'm going to do now is take a little bit of my bone dry resin here and put on those thread wraps okay just a light coat there not too much okay I'm gonna take a little on my needle so I can get in there without getting any on the hackle all right that's fine okay now we'll cure this guy up here Alrighty. Okay. So there we have it, folks. So I hope you can uh, tie a few of these up and uh, throw them in your box and give them a try. <coughs> so. I want to thank you all so much for watching and go ahead and hit that good old subscribe button if you if you'd like to subscribe I'd appreciate that a lot to then hit the bell so you can be informed when I put up new videos and throw in a like too if you wish so until next time happy tying out there Stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon, folks. So long for now.